Welcome back to Back to the Basics. I bet you're wondering to yourself, what would I use a routing protocol for? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna talk about in this video. Let's go! Welcome back! We are talking routing protocols, what I built my whole life on. Just kidding. So, we're talking routing protocols. So why would you use a routing protocol? Well, here's why. Static routes suck. And I'll tell you why. Because if you have 50 sites and you're trying to control your network and how your network talks to each other, you would need to go configure all 50 of those routers and switches and anything layer three with a static route of every other network. And if you decided to add a network, like I add a wireless network at site 22, now I need to go to all other sites and tell it about this new network called 22. Doesn't seem very efficient, does it? Well, a routing protocol is kind of the, I don't know, the waffle of connectivity. You know all those little grooves? Forget it. It's the phone book. How about the phone book of connectivity? It's the directory system. There's a bunch of different routing protocols. BGP, OSPF, well, it's arguable that BGP isn't a routing protocol, but we won't even go there. OSPF, EIGRP, RIP1, RIP2, those are some of the standard ones that you hear about IS to IS, don't forget about that. Those are all routing protocols, and what they do is they take all of the networks that you have configured in your router switch firewall, packages them up in a nice little update and passes it to its neighbors. So if I add that wireless uh, network at site 22, it will automatically be propagated through the environment. So that's leveraging the routing protocol. Do you need it? Well, that's a great question. Do you need it? Depends on how big your organization is. Your one site probably don't need a routing protocol, probably not a lot of concern with that. If you've got three sites, it's getting on the gray area, you know, it starts to be efficient, you know, time, that kind of thing. Five sites, you probably should be considering it. By 10 sites, yeah, you're gonna want a routing protocol to make your life efficient as you're managing a network. If I said anything on the routing, pro oh, before I go there and in this video, we did do some videos, or we are gonna do some videos on routing protocols individually. So things like OSPF, EIGRP, and BGP. We'll talk about them in a little bit more detail, but if I said anything in here that you're like, give me more info on that, make sure you comment, comment, like, subscribe, comment, like, not in that order, probably. See you later.